All right, you guys, what's up? Tools in Action. Today we're talking about something from Skillsaw. Um, as you guys may have seen, Bosch used to own Skillsaw. Now they've been bought by a company called Shervon, who basically has been building tools for many a years, and they actually do build a lot of your favorite tools from big major brands. Um, and they kind of took over the brand, and they're really kind of putting their innovation spin on it and just getting better with the quality and stuff and really coming out with these new innovative tools like this right here, which is the SP99. SP99? He always yells. SPT. SPT99. He always yells at me for not having stats, so everybody sit down, prepare for your boring stats, because here we go. It's going to be a test in the end. Three and a half inch cut depth, 30 and a half inch rip capacity. It'll slice through plywood and four, wait, tear through plywood and slice four times with ease and precision. Patented dual field motor, runs cooler. I mean, that's about it, dude. What do you want to know? Rugged 16 inch wheels. Um... Rack of pain. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what, dude? I hate going over stats. Stats don't mean anything don't to me. Don't go over them. Yeah, I don't need to know stats. I need to know, does it work well? Here's what I figured out from using it. Dude, it almost replicates the DeWalt with the rack and pinion system. It's got a really nice rack and pinion system on it, you guys. I mean, that's been tried and true by DeWalt for many years. Um, and it, it reminds me of the exact same thing with a better stand. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, this is a really good stand on it. It's a gravity stand. I mean, what do they call this a gravity mm -hmm. stand? push a button with your foot, flip it up, flip it down. Big wheels, get you through the job site with ease, no problem, and the stability. That's what's huge. I've never seen such a good gravity stand with stability. That's good stability to me. Right? Yeah, no, I agree. All your tools are on board, typical of your, uh, man, dude, it looks so much like a DeWalt. I can't believe it. Like, I just, I feel like I'm reviewing a DeWalt that's gray. Could be. And actually, it's not knocking it, man. DeWalt's one of the best ones. I wonder mm -hmm. if they, I wonder if Chevron made it for DeWalt. Back in the day, could have been. I don't, I don't know. think so. I don't know. That's a pretty. That's a pretty knows, flagship man? item. All right, what do we got? Eric? You know, you know what motors in here? Yeah, what, what type of motor? 354, three fifty four. Three on the tree. No, do you know what type of motor? Dual field motor. It, Sidewinder is what you said. A dual field Sidewinder. Yeah. Sidewinder. Yeah. I don't think so. No, you know what it is. I think it's their big Sidewinder saw flipped upside down and put in here. That's what I think. It is. You guys, we did the table saw review a while ago. They had a different one that we did. This is identical. Motor's a little bit bigger. Same type of motor. The big deal about this, it's a little bit bigger and the stand with it. Um, like Dan was saying, it's very smooth. This thing's powerful. We went through a four by six. No problems at all pushing it through. Any other stuff you want to put through. The one thing I did notice is the uh, fence. I love the fence because it locks down on the front and the side. So when you're pushing, sometimes you'll see fences like move a little bit and you get a messed up cut. This one does and it locks on both sides. Uh, stand, like Dan was saying, nice stand. But I'm telling you, whoever designed the, you have to actually put this thing together. I have never seen directions like putting a stand like this together. Grant, there's only four steps, but there's more writing than pictures. Where, please, I like the pictures better. They give you small little pictures that you can't even see in this long three paragraphs on how to put it together. That was one thing. The one other thing I'd like to see different is when you actually close this, it's kind of, for me, it's a little weird. You're almost hitting your shin when you actually got to close it up here. It's a little bit awkward. Really? I didn't feel like it was. I do. Well, yeah, you're right. I have to get a bad, a you crazy angle. You have to get a different angle. angle. Yeah. yeah, then lift well, down. because you're already up. down here, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, you're It right. is weird. Yeah, you know, right. so again, not a huge deal, but something I would have liked to see a little bit different. Other than that, I Basically, absolutely love this. Basically, you're stupid. You can't put a stand together, so you're bitching at them uh, for better instructions. Dude. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, you know what? I am, and I get. No, you know how many times I don't even look at the instructions. Or, I don't either. But putting the more. stand together. Tell me that. Look at. There's more writing than pictures on there. I don't know if you can see, guys. Again, not a huge deal. Once you get it put together, it's not a big deal because you're never gonna have to take it apart again. But What's the warranty on Skillsaw? I don't know. They said they were going to make it bigger on the box, but we don't have the box anymore, so I don't know what the warranty is. Lifetime. But I like on the According back, to too. Eric. Actually, I think they do have a lifetime. No, it's three years or something. Yeah, it, co it comes with this on the back, so actually you can put it in the... Uh, um, That's actually yeah, a good shoot. idea because usually they it. just shoot straight out. This straight way you can up. direct it if you don't have a dust extraction or a um, bag. Yeah, but bags suck. And on it was hands. nice because you can direct it this way if the wind's blowing this way. If you're outside, we actually put it on the ground. There's a nice little pile on the ground afterwards. It does a good job by taking all the dust down here and shooting it out the back. Like Dan was saying, the big wheels are nice. I'm doing some work around my house, just pulling it around outside. It's easy to go over uneven surfaces, over extension cords, over if you got to you know run over two by fours because you're too lazy to pick one up whatever the deal is it's nice overall i love the saw for me 
I love the stand. It's a nice stand, and I just love the power of the saw. Yeah, it's definitely powerful. It's a, it's a good saw. saw. And you know what? I bet you it's priced right, Jay. I don't know how much it is, but I know it's not premium priced. Well, how do you know if you don't know? Because I know skill saw is really true, like to good pricing. You never see skill saw overpriced. Like, like you go, you know, this Infesto would be like, you know, untold. Oh yeah, $3, you know, I agree with that. Yeah, you know, so, but it's a good quality tool, you guys. Designed to survive the job site. It's getting hot. We got to roll tools in action. Go over to Instagram. Don't forget We're the hashtag. We're blinding them with our foreheads, dude. And the sun coming off. I know. It sucks off. getting old. We're all sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Tools in action. For more exciting tool action, go to Tools in Action. Dot com.